What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Deed up here and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Today is going to be a lot of talking to people. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have something to do every single day starting today. We can go talk to Miss Charm because it's Lady Day. And then once we talk to Miss Charm, uh, we can ask her, we need to get her support for the merchant. So maybe we can go talk to the merchant then on Merchant Day, assuming we're able to do that. And then on Green Day, we've talked to Snake, or we'll talk to Snake, and do the dark ritual, since we have the dark church all fancy and decorated now. And then, what's after that? Uh, the Inquisitor on Mail Day. We've now done the thing. What, wait, what did we need to do for the Inquisitor? I wrote all those down, just that I had to visit them, but I don't actually know what we need to be doing. I'm pretty sure we can go talk to the Inquisitor again. Uh, ah, yes, we've done... The, the burgers at the burger stand. So now we can take care of that. And then that brings us all the way back around to Moon Day, where we can then talk to the astrologer again, which is cool. Anyway, I'm over here because in between all those things, assuming we don't get pulled away on a long uh, kind of side quest mission type thing, I wanted to work on building, where was it? A stone prayer station. I don't know if I even can. I don't know if I'm able to make silver quality books. We're gonna go check though. We should probably check that first because that's gonna be the limiting factor. I could probably do everything else. Actually, I'm 100% sure I can do everything else, but I'm not, dang it, I did that again. But I'm not sure on the silver quality book. Also, it feels like I'm moving faster right now and I don't know why. I'm not, but it just felt like I was. Cool. And then once we get, I'm, I want to save up around like 100 faith, and then we'll study everything that we have uh, that needs studying. So let's take a look at this again. And to make a silver quality book. Wait, what? Jeweler helps make better books? Why is that a thing? Uh... We could guarantee bronze quality, but we need silver quality. And then that's a hardcover. So if we had gold quality stories, that would... Man, yeah, okay. So maybe this won't be happening today. We need writer and playwright in order to get those. Uh, and we have nowhere near that, I don't think. Book writing... That's writer, and that's playwright, so that's 140 blue points. Uh, probably not going to be happening. Okay, so maybe I'm now hoping that we do get pulled off on a long, lengthy side quest of things to do. Because I don't think it's just going to be simply talking to people and then, voila, everything's done. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to do things for people. Like we always do. So let's head over to oh man you're almost done with the cabbages we'll wait till these guys are all actually no it doesn't matter since they're all going at different paces it doesn't matter how quickly they get started or if they're synced up or not because they're going to get out of sync because they all they all work differently I need to restock these don't I I also need to pull oh we're not even going to have enough oh <laughs> so sad not that I really use all this stuff it just kind of gets thrown in here and then I don't ever think about it what am I doing? They go down here. Man, I am rusty. It's been a while. Anyway, I will meet you guys over at the Dead Horse Tavern. I want to save my teleport stone for on the way back. And here we are. Wow, my voice. <laughs> what was that? Here we are. Anyway. Hi, Miss Charm. Convince the farmer to let his daughter go to the concert with Miss Charm. Hello, darling. How can I help you? Um, I feel like we've asked some of these before. Let's work our way from 10 to 40 to 50. We can ask everything, but... And then Elise's papers. I don't remember what that was, and I know we've asked some of this before, but... I have some questions. Just kidding. No, I don't. Have you ever done any marketing? I was wondering if you'd like to help me. I need you to promote my company in the town. Can you tell everyone that you like graveyard veggies? <laughs> that they help you stay beautiful? I'm sorry, but can't you hear how that sounds? Graveyard veggies? Mm, yeah, maybe that's not the best name. 
But the graveyard is a sacred place, and our vegetables are really good. I can pay you. I don't need any money, but I would like some jewelry. There's been nothing new in the town for a long ago. Just old-fashioned rings and earrings. I heard you're rather gifted. You decorated your church quite nicely. Maybe you could make some jewelry for me. Something with a graveyard motif. And I'll promote your company. Plus, if your jewelry is any good, I can sell a lot of it in the town. Okay. We have to invest in jewelry making now. Yeah, so there's our lovely little side quest I was talking about. Uh, and then about her father, the astrologer. <laughs> Miss Charm, you seem so lonely. Do you have a family? <laughs> My dear friend, you are so kind to me. It seems like you're the only one who talks to me like I'm a person. <laughs> I feel so lonely, alone in a crowd of admirers. <laughs> it's my curse. <laughs> My mother died. I messed up my relationships with my relatives. All my life, I've been looking for a charming prince, but I'm cursed. It's not a joke. My mother told me that her necklace would help me find love, and I sold it. I may know who your father is. My father is a dishonorable, deceitful man. He left my mom, and she never got over it. He did nothing for me. I don't care who he is. <laughs> okay, crap. That's not good. Um, So we don't have the best news to report back to the astrologer. But we can now start making the jewelry. And we have to do that before we can talk to the merchant. So I'm glad I saved it, because we're going to teleport back home. And I don't know if I needed to do that because I need to look at what it takes to make the jewelry crafting tale. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, this is not far out of reach. It's only 70 blue points. Maybe we'll go back to our books and see if I can make any. That'll give me blue points. That's how that worked, right? We got a bunch of blue points for making books. Pretty sure that's what we did. Like I said, it's spend a bit. Um, and what's our what's our story stock looking like? Stories are not doing so great. Can't we? Isn't there a zombie perk? Random text generator. And that's coming off of inventing stories. Crafted at random text generator and study table. I don't think we can actually craft them at the study table. I don't know why it says that. Study table. Yeah, there's no crafting available here. Not sure why it does that. But at a random text generator, we could get some stories going. Uh, we need... Can we make one more book? How did I do this again? So we have the ability to create... We need to create books, and we need chapters, and we don't have notes. What is this? What do I have here? Is that just clean paper? It is. Okay, crap. Oh, wait. Wait, no, the book... Books were used for... Science? Excuse me, I just had to sneeze. What did I use to make blue points? Or to get a bunch of blue points? Am I... Okay, so we made this, the soft covers, and then... I swear... No, the process of making them gave us blue points? I don't remember. Let's just see what we can do. Let's do this with... I don't know. We're gonna make a few books real quick. Alright, so just the process of making the things for said book is enough for us to... Wait, what? I just made a... I made three... What the heck, game? I made three of these. I don't know why it's telling me I still need more. Chapter. Use the silver ones. Wait, what? 
What am I missing? I'm confused. Ah, there's a chance for them to turn into... Ah, I had... I got really lucky. I got two silver ones. I was thinking they were all guaranteed to be silver, and they're not. And there's another... Okay, so we'll just make a chapter out of this. And then I think we've got some spare soft covers. Yeah, this is beautiful. And then we'll make a book. Which has a 0% chance of being anything quality. That's to be expected, though. And then there's the flood of blue points. Okay, so that's what I did. And then we just had these for science. Like, literally, for science. Anyway, that's enough points uh, to get a random text generator. And that'll help us get more stories, and then we can do more things. Oh, and we can also get... I don't know if I need this. A simple printing press and complex printing press. I want to focus on the jewelry stuff, um, so at least, wait, I said it was 140. This will allow us to hopefully generate more stories, I think. Um, random text generator. Four planks, two complex iron parts. I'll be right back. All right, I'm curious how this works. Let's find out. Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. It could go pretty much anywhere. What were we planning on putting down here? We might move... We might put desk two, which is what this is, which is four wide, down here. And so we can have it all... I think that'll work. Let's do that. So we'll plop that there. And then... This is the desk, right? I'm imagining desk two is the same. Yeah, and it doesn't let us upgrade it from here. Just kidding, we haven't even unlocked it yet. Um... Oh, wait, it can make random books out of clean paper? Whoa. So it can either make us stories and then we can make our own books and get blue points that way. Or we can hope to get blue points from the books. Uh, let's put you on some books to start with. Let's have them make five books. Oh, that's so cool. It's going to take a little bit, I think, seeing as how you can't even see the progress bar yet. That's awesome. And there it is. It's a sliver of red. Cool. While he's doing that, um, what were our... Let me get our, our blue point farm going again. We had a bunch of glass being made and we're making flasks and stuff. It's not a ton, I know, this is a much better way of getting blue points, but at least this will allow us to get some inkling of progress towards unlocking the jewelry stuff. Uh, and again, I need, uh, what is it, 140 in total? 100, no, only 70. That might be doable. There's 20. We can now create silver and gold ingots. Alright, so we need 43 more blue points. That might be possible. At least in the near-ish future. Okay, so we have like no fuel in that, no fuel in that, and no fuel in that. Uh, we do have some coal, but not a ton. Let's put 30 in that one and 30 in this one. I'll need to go mine some coal soon. Or get a second zombie on the the mine, the zombie mine. So that they can start bringing us coal. Because we do get some coal. It's mostly iron, I feel, but we do get some coal. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, and then we need to make advanced conical flasks. We're going to try and split this up evenly. So it's... We'll do 10 there. Another 10 here. Just so we're getting blue points faster. And then the last of them here. Although I don't think this is going to work out evenly at all. Yeah, no. So we'll actually make some... What are we out of? Conical flasks? Let's actually make a bunch of conical flasks here. Um, wow. I say a bunch. That's not a whole lot. Okay. Blue point automation has begun. I'm actually going to go use this dead day, if you will. Uh, we do have tomorrow green day of doing something with snake. Or we have to do something tomorrow. But today... I thought we'd be talking to the merchant, but I don't think we're doing that quite yet. We don't have anything to 
show for it. We need to get advertising and all that jazz with Mitch Darm. So I'm going to go mine some coal, and I'll be right back. Well, that took a little while and a lot of energy, but I got my entire inventory is, is now full of coal. It's kind of awesome. And I'm just now realizing I don't have the room for it over here. So I guess we'll just put it straight into the furnaces, which I can't do that either. Uh, I guess we'll put it over here. And it can't even all fit over there. <laughs> and we'll stash some of it here. Oh, this is a mess. But you'll see I also got limestone and sulfur. I'm going to deposit all of that and then grab one piece of each and take it to be studied. I'm going to throw it in our to be studied bin. We also need to sleep, but it just rolled over into Green Day and I'm pretty sure we can talk to Snake right now. So we're going to go do that. I think he's here. I can never remember if he shows up at midnight, like going into Green Day or the midnight following or if he's there all day. Hey, look, it's Snake. Um. Wait, what? Take the endless notebook. We have to have more friendship with them. Reach 20 at the Dark Church? We did that, right? So about the ritual, we can do that now? Let's ask about the necklace again first, just because I forgot. Okay, glad I did that. About the ritual. This place is scary. So, what do you think of the place? Oh, there it is. Cool. I'm impressed, especially this pumpkin head. What a sick mind you have. Got the place? Check. Now we just need to find some devoted followers. Oh, and I also need a Damask sword. How's that going to help you? You'll see. Just forge one, or buy one at the mountain fort. Okay. Man, everyone has so many needs. Wait, did that give us... Yes, the stuff I'm looking for. Did you know where I can find the things I'm looking for? It was very easy. I actually didn't search for them. What? Just spent the evening in the pub at the town. Everything was in the rumors. The mirror of pride. Everybody knows that the bishop carries it everywhere. People say the mirror helps him talk to his boss. <laughs> An eternal burning coal. Then the Inquisitor's guard told me that his master's most... That's his master's most precious artifact. Okay, so I was right. Every item seems to be linked to each character, a.k.a. storyline. That's cool. He carries it around with him in his pocket. It's burning him all the time. That's why he's always so angry. A salty fork. Your friend, the merchant, has one of those. It's weird. We normally just use spoons in the town. Or our hands. <laughs> Apparently, it helps him eat a lot. Thanks, Snake. I hate politeness. Okay, so we need to make a Damask sword. Which sounds like Damascus. But, alright, so yeah. Like I thought, talking to everyone was not going to take that much time. Holy crap, this guy works slow. Okay, so that's a process, but it's free points. It's a free point process. Not a three point process, but a free point process. I used to just confuse those words when I was a kid. I would say I'm three years old and I wanted things for three. It's very difficult. Life as a child, you know. Can't can't speak the words properly. Okay, what was I doing? Uh, I wanted to take a look at the Damask Sword since we won't be getting those 50 blue points for a little while. I don't think we can make one yet. No, that is another technology that needs to be unlocked. But one we might be able to unlock. Nope, it's another 50 blue points. Damask Sword with Gem. Wait, is that what we need? Damask Sword with Gem? Steel sword with gem or damask sword with gem. And he needs a damask sword. I'm assuming those are the same thing. A damask sword. He did say we could buy one. And I don't think I want to do that. Because we still have to save up, what is it? Eight gold for one of the titles we could purchase for ourselves. 
at the graveyard. But, oh man. So yeah, my new, you know what? Can I get a second zombie on that? I kind of want to get two. I have two zombies down there. And this is going to take a little while to do, so I might as well, right? So I need, what was it, four planks and then two, two complex iron parts. And what else? Ink, right? That was down there already? Because we have a zombie doing nothing on one of our alchemy stations. And I don't think I need him there. I'd rather have him working for me than standing around doing nothing. Which is what he's currently doing. Oh, can this go in between those? That'd be kind of neat. Let's check. And then I'll have to make some more uh, paper. Clean paper. Oh, it totally can, but it can't. It's unfortunate. We do have room right here. Or I could rotate this and have a little station right here and have like three of them. Let's do one right there. And then, did I unlock the, uh, I got the scroll shelf. Did I get the bookshelf unlocked yet? Was that the next thing in the list? I think it was. Uh, book writing. Yes, writer's inspiration. Desk and bookshelf. Which we can purchase. It's tempting. But I shouldn't, because I want to make some jewelry. Some jewelry. Alright, we need to make some more clean paper. Uh, which we can do... From skin. Which we're gonna do. Because why not? We're gonna do- oh crap. I forgot I need to sleep. Let me go do that real quick. Okay. That's much better. Now I can actually make these. I wonder if this is going to be enough clean paper. Let's find out. Yeah, I think it's enough. That's what, 112 clean paper? I think that's plenty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Probably overkill, but that's totally fine. We're going to use all of it eventually. I just don't want to queue up all of it at once because... Let me grab you and put him on this new random text generator. Oh, that's so cool looking. <laughs> He's like ready and ready to work. Um, let's try a couple stories and see how many are created. And it looks like it can be of any quality, just like these can be of any type. Unless it gives us a little bit of each. I'd almost prefer it be randomized. Let's do this and hope that story creation is a little bit faster than book creation. I would imagine it is, and it looks like it is, but time will tell. All right, that's going to do it for down here. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. I could drop some stuff off, uh, but I'm lazy. Just kidding, I'll, I'll drop it off. Okay, you know what I'm realizing? Jerry has played, like, no part in this story at all recently, and I don't know why. Everyone else seems to keep, you know, reappearing in the story with some new quest line or something, but Jerry, the talking skull, has just kind of been hanging out, bouncing around on his crate, not doing a whole lot. I don't know why, but I wish he was more involved. I miss doing the voice for him. He sounded so derpy, which was awesome. Oh, hello, Inquisitor. It's almost like I was coming here just to see you. Must all is all ready. It's nice and installed. Everything's ready. I should let the Inquisitor know. Well, that's the plan. Are we ready? I'm going to talk to him from the side. I never do that. It's always like straight on. Oh, I'm looking for an eternal burning coal. Nah, let's ask. Let's ask about the burning. Well, no, let's ask about the burning coal. I heard from one of your guardsmen that you might have an eternal burning coal. I need it to reunite with my family. Family. I had a family, but they were all burned. My wife and my son burned alive in my house. Oh crap. My house was lit on fire by the great blast. And my son was so young, 
I even couldn't find his remains. I think that's supposed to be I couldn't even, but whatever. But I found this coal among the ashes. And it's been burning ever since, fueling my anger. A witch's ritual caused that blast. I joined the Inquisition back when it was still forming, so I could kill them all. I can't give it to you until I've burned them all. Wow. It's dark. Maybe one day, with your help, but not before. Okay, so we have to get... That's cool looking. We have to get, like, super friendly with the Inquisitor first. Like, max happiness or friendship. Everything's ready for the next burning? Okay, we have food and drink to serve the people. Ooh, I love when it gets all narrow like this. I don't like that we're burning witches, but... Hey, look at everyone attending my stall. <laughs> beer! Fresh beer! Come get your beer! <laughs> beer washes away all sins. Juicy burgers, sweet as holy ecstasy. Yeah? Yeah? I'll take two! This is the best burning I've ever been to. Mmm, that's tasty. Smoky meat. <laughs> I just got an achievement called Not a Hot Dog. That's funny. Look at all the faith. Cool. The town will be talk. Oh, oops. The town will be talking for a month about today's burning. Whether you're ready, whenever you're ready, we should put on a repeat performance. Just get your tent ready, and we'll be in business. I earned 33 silver selling beer and burgers. Okay, that's awesome. Is this a way of... Where'd that faith go? All the way down here. So we could do this on a weekly basis now? Get a little bit of faith, and we have to restock the beer and the burgers? I can totally make that happen. That's awesome. I'll have to prep some of that next time uh, just to get a stash going so we don't have to constantly think about it. But weekly, we can get 33 silver. That's not too bad. And then a little bit of faith here and there. Never hurt anybody. How did that do for our friendship? Are we any more friendly? No? No. Interesting. And there's no current quests with the Inquisitor. Maybe something, maybe another quest line will prompt uh, further progression with the Inquisitor. Because right now, I don't know how we become better friends. Maybe just with time, we gain like a friendship point here and there. I don't know. Probably not. It's probably quest related. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's episode. I think we made some progress. As always, I set my sight on something that was unattainable, which was building that stone prayer station in the graveyard. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. We've got zombies doing our bookmaking now. I might even let the game run for a little bit. Um, just in between recordings. Just so they can make stuff. We'll see. Maybe let it run for a week and just see what happens. Who knows. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I appreciate you being here. Until next time, though, as always, take care. <laughs>